Hello and welcome to this next segment from AMS 360. In the title description of this video, you'll find the direct link to our contact page. We welcome your questions, comments, and requests for further content. Thank you for tuning in. Hi everybody, my name is Mike Belanger from AMS 360. In this edition of Zero to 360, we will discuss how to get a high quality surface finish in PowerMill. Now, generally speaking, Tightening up your toolpath tolerance is all the settings you need to change to get a good surface finish on your average workpiece. But in my power mill project here, I am working with headlight optics that need to have the best quality surface finish possible due to the reflective standards in today's industry. This will greatly reduce the polish or hand working time, which will in turn help retain the surface accuracy. This is when point distribution becomes an integral part of your toolpath settings. So let's take a look. In my first toolpath, you will see a rough tolerance of 2 thou, or 50 microns if you prefer metric. Clearly this would not be acceptable if you are looking for a good surface finish, but will work just fine if you are rough cutting or semi-finishing a job. As I mentioned earlier, the majority of users, when they need a better surface finish, will use a smaller value in their tolerance. In this example, I have, have adjusted only the tolerance to 5 tenths or 10 microns. This will give you a significantly better surface finish. But as you can see, when I zoom in very close to the toolpath, there are still some minor inconsistencies. This is when we need to adjust the point distribution. My first adjustment will be to the mesh factor. Mesh factor affects the accuracy of the underlying surface, which consequently will improve how the toolpath travels along that surface, giving you a better surface finish. The term mesh re is referring to the fact that all underlying surfaces are made up of triangles. So the more triangles that are defined in the surface, the more accuracy, accuracy you will get from the toolpath. But this is only one of the factors that need to be considered. I have adjusted the next two tool paths from the default setting of 0.5 to 0.25 and then 0.1. This value is not a distance, but like the name suggests, a factor with a maximum of 1.0 and a minimum of zero or slightly more. You can see there are some improvements on the toolpath consistency, but we will keep adjusting for a better result. Next, we will look at one of my more common edits in the point distribution page, changing the output type to redistribute. This will allow you to activate the point separation distance and give it a maximum distance between toolpath points that define, define the toolpath shape. It will also allow you to activate the point separation angle to define the maximum angular change where a point will be added to define the toolpath shape. By turning on the points in the draw group of your toolpath tab, you can easily see the difference between my toolpath with a tight tolerance of 5 tenths of a thou and my toolpath with the redistribute points changed. Now we really begin to see the toolpath consistency improving with these settings. In my next toolpath, notice that I kept my redistribute settings the same, but added a tighter mesh factor of 0.1, which increases the toolpath consistency even more, increasing the accuracy of the underlying surface like I mentioned earlier. Again, we see an even greater toolpath consistency. In my last toolpath, I have adjusted the point separation distance to a small number. I also adjusted my maximum triangle length that defines the underlying surface to a smaller number as well. The result is a virtually flawless toolpath. Let's take a quick look back at the original tight tolerance toolpath with no edits to the point distribution and my final toolpath with a few quick and easy changes to the point distribution page to compare. As you can see, 
By understanding point distribution with a few easy changes, you can have a very high quality surface finish on your workpiece. Thank you for watching. Please click the subscribe button or follow our social channels to stay connected. You can also use the direct link to our contact page in this title description.